Hey guys, it's Scooter Vlogs here. Hey man, do I have a surprise for you guys? That's right. We are going to have drum roll, please. We are going to go to. Oh, we have a symbol. There we go. We are going to have a part two of the House of Guitars. We had spoken to the owner today. He said that we could come in and film, but I didn't film the first time that I filmed when I made my video. I had gotten such great results on that first video that I did. I got over 500 views on that. So I want to thank everybody for doing that. You guys are awesome. And the likes are on. We're beautiful. And all my subscribers. I couldn't for, ask for any better you know, than a fans that you are with me. I really appreciate that. And hopefully maybe I can get more subscribers too. So that would be awesome. So anyways, we are going to the House of Guitars known as the Hog. And um, we're going to get stuff there. Like I said, that uh, I couldn't get the first time. But we are going to get it today. And uh, life is good. I'm so excited over this video. Alright guys, we are now at the House of Guitars. And uh, we're going to do this as part two. And I'm hoping this is going to do very well like the first one. Okay guys, here we go. This is... Um, Actually, this is the wall downstairs at the house guitars, and um, I was told I was talking to somebody, and they were telling me that this wall is absolutely legit. Any rock band that comes down here to visit the house guitars down in the lower end writes on this wall, and it is it's from them. It's not really from like you or me writing on them. It's it's purely just the rock bands. Um, so if you happen to see anything. Uh, that you remember back when you were a kid, uh, please put it in the comment section down below. Uh, I'm really... The wall just keeps going on and on, guys. <laughs> so, a couple of times with my friend Steve. This video. All right, guys. I was told I could say this. You see that guy right there, Lou Graham? Remember in my in my other mic in my gosh, my first three videos I did, I said there was a house next to the uh down down by the uh lake and I said I couldn't buy Seabreeze, I said I couldn't mention his name. It's Lou Graham's house from Foreigner. That's his house. So um just let you guys know if you are interested. said my first video I did here at the house um, I got I got over 505 views so um, so I would be really love it love it if you guys kept going on with us with the house guitars guys the wall that we were just at Steven Tyler from Errol Smith was signing that wall isn't that cool maybe we can find it and uh, that would be cool we have to have to find it there you go all right, guys. I thought you guys might like to see that. You've got Kyle Rudolph, who's always a red zone target, and I know they want to use Herb Smith for this year. So that's a, that's the concern. Having said all that, to your point, when you compare just there you go, guys. Here's some eight tracks. That's really old. I've never seen eight tracks in a long time. So will that be kind of cool? And uh, sorry. Yeah, I remember these albums back when I was a kid. King Diamond, oh my gosh, that's so funny. And uh, Queensryche, I see a lot in concert. And then here are where the cassettes are, or tapes, back in the 80s. And then here's all your, all your records. You remember the records we used to have back in the 80s? <laughs> And house guitars have still got a lot of them. And more tapes in the back. I just passed these t-shirts. I thought they looked really nice. This is like a t-shirt room here. Here. And 
Those are pretty good ones too. I like those. Look at all these concert t-shirts. I used to come here obviously when I was a kid and come down here and get a, a concert shirt for before I went to go to the concert. <laughs> but yeah, if you look, all these here are just, look at this, all t-shirts of just rock groups. And up here on the ceiling too, it's just nothing but t-shirts. So, big on t-shirts guys. So, when you come to the house of guitars, get a t-shirt. Say Mike Wall sent you. All right, guys, we're going to go upstairs now. I just wanted to show you downstairs. This is the, uh, the, that's the back entrance to uh, House Guitars. But I'm just saying, look at all this stuff. It's just absolutely amazing. Okay, guys, we're leaving the new section and going to the old section now so um, just wanted to get this one here I was told that last time they were unable to see it Alright guys, there's a room full of, looks like keyboards, which is kind of fun and unique. Alright, we're going downstairs. Supposedly, this is the area that we're in right now, is the haunted area. So, if you see anything, let me know. There you go. There's a picture for you guys. <laughs> this is the this is the concert area that I told you about where all the groups come and play concerts here at the house guitars. Well here you go guys, here's some guitars, electric guitars. I thought it was kind of cool, man. I mean, look at these. These things are really cool. Yeah. Okay, guys. Man, do I have a treat for you guys. It's a treat for me as well. See, these ba These are bags. Back in the 1980s, where, and when I came here when I was a kid, these bags were given to you every single time that you like basically bought merchandise from these stores. They don't look like bags, but these were the bags that I remember. So, but the most one I remember back when I was a kid was this one right here. This was the all-time bag that they had for everybody was that one right there. And then, uh, where was the store? Oh yeah, the store that ate my brain. That was another one. That was like the most famous one in... It was around uh, Halloween time, but it was great. I'm telling you, it was, I'll never forget these. We're just gonna go over here. And while I'm talking guys, I did talk to the, Bruce, the owner, and I gotta wear my mask, I'm sorry. I did talk to Bruce, the owner, and he had told me that the building that we're in now, known as the House of Guitars, uh, used to be a furniture store. Um, it was like the furniture warehouse. And uh, before that, it was some kind of like a wheel and deal uh, for like taxes and stuff like that. Um, now, back in the days when, when Bruce and his brother were little, they used to, uh, out of their home, they used to have sell guitars in their basement so uh anyways that was like 1968 that they first bought this building and it was so just to give you a little history there and 
we were just in the amplifier room. And like I said, this is the stage. We're about to set. All right, so let me tell you something. This stage right here, <laughs> this is where Ozzy Osbourne's been. Motley Crue, The Who, The Doors. I mean, uh, Lou Graham from Foreigner. This is where they were, right here, right where we're standing. Could you imagine that? Because I can't, because it's blowing me away. So, so guys, this concludes our part two of the House of Guitars. Always remember, please, to smash that like button. And also, if you could subscribe or tell your friends to subscribe to me, that would be great. I do have a lot more fun stuff coming up, um, but you have to subscribe. I would love for you guys to do that. I've um, got a lot of them already, and I want to thank my new subscriber yesterday. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, guys, until, uh, until we meet again, peace.